I'm really very close talaga with my family. Like, my why for my life is my family. It's really the Philippines kind of way of out of poverty. It seems there's really not very a lot of ways to get out of poverty here. You have to be kind of discovered as a celebrity, you know, make it in the showbiz industry. There's not, unless you're born, of course, with money in your family and you can start a business. But what Patricia did is very rare and it's it's really amazing story. Siyempre, I grew up in Antipolo. Uh, at the time, that place is really very secluded. There's no TV, no electricity there, no water. Uh, there's a water, deep, deep well. <laughs> but just like what Doc Rob said, you know, um, I started with the humble beginning. Like those childhood from Antipolo is really uh, very special to me. And at that time, I didn't know if we're rich or poor because I thought that place is like, uh, we're the only people there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that makes the Philippines so special, in my opinion, being an American. I can really see the difference. And, and Filipinos that don't have anything are still very happy. And I love that. And I wanted my kids to experience that. You know, Americans, they have everything. a lot of it is very common that any expat deals with when they're married to a Filipino or involved in a Filipino relationship you know the family the barangay, the barangay <laughs> and uh, supporting is very normal which we're not used to doing that supporting cousins and brothers and sisters financially obviously we're not used to that so um, yeah but I'm very proud with Doc Rob he really embraced Philippines not only my family, but the whole country. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, of course, when we were there just married, I, I learned all of that before I moved here about the difference and how we, you know, we need to send some money and help. I knew what to expect. I'd been here many times. Uh, every, nakikita sila lang with the family nila. Every may mga occasion lang, holidays, diba? Not like us, you know, our relatives, our family, they just want to come to our house and then they can stay for a week. Or one month, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's forever. in America. In America, they'd be like, "Okay, you need to leave. It's eight p.m. Time to go." <laughs> so before I struggle, when I'm in San Diego and I have a birthday party with my kids, and if I invited Filipino kababayan there, and then they come late. Yeah, they're right? still showing up eight p.m. for the birthday party. <laughs> in America, the birthday party is from one to three p.m. <laughs> Done. <laughs> when it comes to the party, di ba? So, sabi to ni ng Filipino sa akin na, na friends ko, usually they travel from mga 30 minutes. 30 minutes driving in uh, San Diego. That's far. So, when they arrive and then I, I'm telling them, sorry, the party is done. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> so, nahihiya tuloy ako. <laughs> nahihiya tuloy ako mag-invite na ulit. <laughs> just a difference. The culture, it's so deep. I mean, <laughs> it's just so different. Americans, they, they, they're they very organized. They're very um, systematic. I got to go to bed because I got to work tomorrow. Yes, uh -oh. It just runs so deep. It's just difference. And yeah. And then, diba, that's how it is. Diba, we, Filipino, we love a lot of food, diba, in the... In the because table. yeah, you like to do take home. You give away to take home. Americans don't want that leftover. It's just, it's no right or wrong. It's not good. It's not good or bad. It's just what it is. Uh, my mother-in-law will tell me, "Oh, Jen, that's a lot of food. What are we gonna do with this after the party?" And then I said, "Mom, don't worry. We have a lot of styrofoam." <laughs> and then uh, my guess, you know, Filipino, they're gonna take that home. <laughs> When the 2008, 2009, kind of the economy really crashed, the housing market crashed, you know, my business really suffered. We were in the U.S. and we really had to um, really work hard to stay afloat um, because it's very expensive, you know, as you know, to live in Southern California homes and schools, everything is super expensive. And uh, when your income takes a really big dive. So anyway, I think that that was pretty stressful time for us and Patricia still trying to find her her groove there, she, she went to esthetician school and was working for a dermatologist. She learned how to be a DJ. I mean, she's obviously a fighter and she's a survivor. 
and she's a go-getter. And so she really, uh, that's one thing that's so amazing about her is she didn't, she doesn't complain. She doesn't create stress and she just, uh, does things to, to get the job done. So we went through those hard times. Yeah. And then that's one thing that I, you know, uh, really give credits to my husband because every time I am doing something, he always supports me. <coughs> I think number one is very important for a partnership that we have really support each other. Like, for example, someone wants to do this, okay, you know, just to support, you know, and if it doesn't work, at least you support, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, but those those stressors they continued, you know, I mean, until 12, 20, 2012, they they continued several years, and then somebody wanted to buy my business, mm-hmm. and you know, I I think you know I was kind of tired of kind of sh- being stressed, and I wanted a little freedom, and so that's when we decided to come here and just kind of I figured it'd be a six months, one year kind of vacation, and then I'd go back to San Diego and start another clinic, yeah. and because I, I didn't really come here to start a clinic, I didn't. That was, I remember telling her, I'm not going to start a clinic. We're going to go back. Mm-hmm. But then it, what, what happened was very <laughs> organic. That's when we started to see the demand that people really wanted the chiropractic care. They started coming to our house. And then that's when we decided to start a clinic here. So I saw like the difference in the stress level very quickly. I could uh-huh. live a less stressed life here and we could help more people. Kasi nga, we're different, di ba? Different uh, background. So especially with, minsan yung language barrier pa rin, nandudoon. So sometimes, I like to say, you know, good things. Sometimes, maybe he will take it in a bad way because maybe I said it in the wrong sentence or grammar. <laughs> and same thing with him, you know, like, uh, usually Americans, they will just say say to you what they like to say. Direct. Direct. Yeah. <laughs> Not like sometimes Filipino word like to, you know, <laughs> going around, <laughs> zigzag, but something like that. In partnership, I think you really need to learn your partner. Yeah. And of course, you know, one thing that's made this thing work is she's so we're she she's very comprom we're very compromising and supportive because of course Coming here was obviously a struggle <laughs> because, you know, the cultural, the, the difference for me living in San Diego, you know, so Maganda as far as beaches and uh, the, the weather. Here yeah. it's, of course, Maganda as well, but just difference. And so we were struggling here at the beginning, gaining traction, you know, uh, living in a condo, whereas before we lived in a house. And we didn't buy a car right away because, of course, you're living in limbo. We didn't want to spend money on a car when we might be going back in a few months. So the first six months were very challenging for me. Um, there was a time, Divai, you, I wanted you to go cry. Back. I wanted to go back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was definitely, there was a moment of breaking down for sure. It was a breaking down moment. <laughs> no, that's going to be towards the Christmas. And we're waiting for a taxi in Mega Mall. And you cried. And I cried. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go from having a car and freedom, just getting in your car. Everything is so simple. Parking lots. And here, it's, everything obviously is a little more, it's just different. And, and so we both had moments of breakdown. <laughs> even her. I have these two boys <laughs> and him. It's like we're in the. Waiting for a taxi in line. Waiting for a taxi and- Wow, what, what I have done with What's me happened family. to our life? <laughs> but it's pretty amazing. I mean, we hit rock bottom, you know. And, and then my kids got a lot of mosquitoes bites, you know, diba? <laughs> Siyempre, hindi naman, ano, natural sa kanila yung kagati ng mga lamok, diba? Yung anak ko talaga, tagtad ng lamok with legs. Tapos, na, meron po nagkabeke. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, nagka-chicken pox pa. So, yeah. Actually, <laughs> the day we did the photo shoot with you, that's when Robert... God, he got sick. Yeah. yeah, he got really sick right after that. Yeah, oh. with Becky. Yeah. So, lahat na ito ng virus oh. na kuha na ng anak ko dito sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Pero see, look at them now. They're so strong. Natural immunity. Natural immunity, diba? <laughs> now, you know, we can laugh about it because like... Wow. Well, in a short period of time, we've done a lot. We have, we have really done some special things. So, we're very excited and proud of what we're doing here. Mm-hmm.
tried living in her where she grew up. She does have a nice resort in Antipolo, but we tried living there in Antipolo, especially where she's that's located is a little bit provincial. Yeah. And so that was my breakdown time. That's when the kids got all the mosquito bites. Because he needs to ano, get water from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> wala kaming gripo. <laughs> diba? So, yun nga, sabi ko sa kanya, no, it's nice that you guys experienced this. What yeah. happened to me when I was a <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, she really tried to really kill us. <laughs> I told them, you know, someday, you will have, you know, story to tell that you, you really experienced this and you survived. Yeah. Diba? <laughs> we survived, yeah. <laughs> We've had ups and downs, and yes. um, you know, Patricia, when she's upset, she really doesn't talk. And when she's up, she when she is upset, you know, it's very noticeable because it's not often. I think if we have an argument, most of the time it's our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he is really, he's really, you know, uh, hands on Hello. sa mga bata, and sobrang grateful ako na yes. ganon yung asawa ko na. Kahit huwag na sa akin sometimes, you know? But, pero yung binibigay niyang attention sa mga kids ko, eh talaga grabe. Father of the year parati siya sa amin. And, you know, sabi ko nga, sobra yung pagpo-provide niya sa for family and then for my barangay. Diba? Sobrang, sobrang laking tulong yun for us. Kaya minsan, kahit merong mga syempre, hindi na perfect yung relationship, diba? Ang tinitignan ko lang lagi, yung good, good things about him. I went to US for a Filipino um, oh, events, concert, and then I'm part of that. Tapos, we have common friends. Tapos, he was there. I think, diba, your friend invited you. Uh, yeah, I have a chiropractic friend that's married to a Filipina. Uh -oh. And, um... Tapos, I think he saw in the poster, sabi niya, wow, parang ano to ah, parang Latina. Wow, this girl looks like, uh, you know, J-Lo. Oh, diba? Yeah, <laughs> that was the J-Lo time. Yeah, you had the braids. Yeah, diba? <laughs> Grabe talaga, wala pang filter nun ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> ganun din. So, yun, parang nagkaroon siya interest to come to that event. And then, ako naman, right away, when I saw him, sabi ko, oh my God, is this Brad Pitt? Parang ganun. Because <laughs> blue eyes, tapos nice teeth, ang ganda ng face. Sabi ko, wow, I think he's Ken. <laughs> I always wanted to be Barbie. <laughs> sabi, ko, sabi ko, wow. So, physically... I find him very attractive, siyempre, at the time. At siyempre ngayon. At the time, but <laughs> pero now, wala. <laughs> no, this is ano, another example of my English, di ba? <laughs> For me, ano, love at first sight. Aww.